first thing I'm doing as always is prepping the eye area for the shadows that are to come and to do this I'm using an old favourite of mine, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then I'm going to move on to brows and I find it easier to do my brows before the rest of my makeup for a couple of reasons but mostly because the brows frame the face so they act as a guide for me product placement wise. To fill in my brows I'm using the Brow Beater and this is a fantastic little product especially if your brows are quite sparse. The pencil is really fine so it allows you to be quite precise, you can sketch in brow hairs if needs be and it'll come across very natural. Once I've deepened the brows then I'm using the spoolie end and brushing through the hairs just to ensure that there's no product build up. I always like to run a powder through my brows and what I'm using next might seem like a very odd combination but it works. I'm using the brow box from the Gwen Stefani collection and I'm mixing that powder with a touch of bronzer just to add the slightest bit of warmth and then I'm feathering that through the brows and this will set the pencil in place and it'll stop it smudging and fading. To prep the skin I'm starting off with the B6 complexion spray and I'm just spritzing some of this onto a sponge and then pressing it into the skin. I find it works better this way and I also don't have to worry about accidentally spraying it into my eyes and burning the eyeballs off myself. To further prime my skin I'm using the complexion primer potion and I'm just dotting this all around my face and then I'm lightly massaging it into the skin. For foundation I'm using the Naked Skin Foundation and this is a demi matte finish to it so your skin isn't left looking too oily or too dewy. I went for shade 3.5 to match the tan on the rest of my body. I never tan my face because I don't want to further block my pores and cause any more breakouts but I applied around two light layers of this foundation to get the look that I desired and usually I'm all about that matte full coverage finish but I actually really liked how this foundation looked on my skin, it was a nice change. To add a little more coverage to the skin and to also brighten it, I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. This shade goes well with the colour of the foundation, it adds a brightness to the skin but it's not too stark. Because I applied it under the eyes, I'm also going to add it to a couple of other places just to balance the look out. If I just applied it to underneath your eye, I think it would kind of look a little bit strange. Once the concealer's in place, then I'm just going in with my foundation brush again and buffing over the skin just to make sure the concealer and foundation are blended nicely together. To set that foundation in place, I'm going in with the D Slick Mattifying Powder and this might seem counterproductive being that I didn't use an entirely matte foundation but I'm using a very light hand with the powder to ensure that I still have that radiance peeking through. I would usually contour next but Urban Decay actually don't stock any cool toned contour colours so instead I'm using a bronzer and I'm applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, along my jawline, around my forehead and a little across my nose as well just to add some overall warmth to my skin. I'm also using a very light hand with this product because I don't want to add definition really, I just want to add a little bit of colour. Finally for the face, or for the moment anyway, I'm using the Naked Flush palette. Now the products in this palette are extremely pigmented so be sure to tap off any excess product off of your brush just so that you don't end up going overboard unless that's the look you're going for. I've applied the blush just off the apples of my cheeks and then I've blended it back in with the bronzer and then I'm going in with the highlight and I'm dusting this along the tops of my cheeks, the tip of my nose and the cupid's bow just to give a nice glow to those areas. Now for my favourite part, the eyeshadow. I'm using the electric palette which is filled with really bright, extremely pigmented shadows. The first eyeshadow I'm taking is Thrash which is this yellowy kind of limey green shade and I'm applying it into the crease. This shade is a little powdery so I'm taking extra care to build up the colour little by little and I'm tapping off the excess each time that I pick up some more colour just so that I don't get any fallout down onto my cheeks. Then I'm going in with Freak which is this vibrant green shade and it has these really nice golden flecks in it. I'm applying this to the lid using a pencil brush which kind of may seem like an odd choice of brush but it's allowing me to pack colour evenly across the lid. It may take a little longer to cover the entire eyelid but sure look, slow and steady wins the race. 
Sticking with those greeny shades next, I'm taking some of the shade Fringe, and this is a gorgeous deep teal shade with a metallic finish. I've applied this on the outer third of the eye with a pencil brush to pack on the colour, and then when I'm happy with the placement, I'm just using the blending brush to fade it in with the other colours. I didn't want to take from this colourful smoky eye by applying a big thick winged liner, so instead I'm just pressing some of the shade black out from the Naked 2 palette all the way along the upper lash line. Then to add some further depth to the eye, I'm blending that black along the outer third of my eye only. Basically I want that black along the lash line to fade into this black smokiness once it hits the outer corner of the eye. I don't want there to be a line visible. And with blending, you will lose some of the pigmentation, so just keep adding and blending until you're happy with the result. I've applied some lashes and now I'm focusing on the lower lash line. So I'm beginning by smoking Thrash halfway along the lash line, followed then by that teal shade fringe. And then finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to press a little bit of that black eyeshadow just along the roots of the lashes to add a little bit more definition. To blend my own lashes in with false ones, I'm adding a couple of coats of mascara and then I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm using one of my favourite lip liners now, favourite in terms of colour and formulation. I'm lining the lips and then very lightly filling them in before I move on to lipstick. And today I went for a nude lip because I didn't want to do anything crazy with the lips and take away from the eyes. I wanted the eyes to do all the talking. But for lipstick, I'm just applying a little from the bullet first. And then I like to use a lip brush to blend my lipstick in with the liner just so that I don't have a very obvious line from where the liner starts and the lipstick ends. To hold everything in place, I'm spraying my face with the All Nighter Setting Spray, and this is a holy grail product of mine. I use it on a daily basis, I find it makes a huge difference. Then you're done, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.